Hello, people of unknown origin, and Merry Christmas! I'm standing here outside the Silver Moon Inn, which is very nicely decorated for Christmas. I'm wearing some uh, festive attire, and I'm here to do a, a kind of special mod showcase. However, I don't feel like doing a Christmas mod because I can only find one and everyone's kind of already done it. Blah. Already done it, but uh, I did decide to do a mod that um, recently came out that ah, pink water that uh, lots of people are excited for, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first off, you can see that the oh wow, those uh, vines have started uh, growing downward. I better just trim those up quick. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the uh, Silver Moon Inn is nice and decorated for Christmas. We have a nice little Christmas tree over here. The ton of snow. But uh, on to the mod. Now, over here, I have set up a secret little lab known as Sync Lab. Um... As many of you may have, or may already know, Sync is a new mod by iChun, which, you know, means it's going to be awesome. And basically, it allows you to build these shell constructors and a bunch of other useful equipment. And that will allow you to prolong your existence in, like, hard hardcore mode and stuff. Uh, where, you know, like, you die and that's it. Well, this kind of changes that system. Let me show you. So this is all the different stuff you're going to need. Now, first off, well, actually, you're going to need at least two of these, but I'll get on to that in a minute. Um, first, you're going to need a treadmill, which is built like so. I'm not going to go over every single piece, because that takes too much time. Then you're going to want a shell constructor. Um, and this is how you build that. And you're going to need a sink core, which is incredibly expensive, but built like so. Um, and then you just put that into this area, or this recipe, and there you go. Now you're going to need a redstone torch and a shell storage. Now, this is how you build a shell storage. Again, sink core, uh, all this stuff, uh, weighted pressure plate, etc. And you're also going to need a bed and either a pig or a uh, wolf. Let me just take all this stuff. Alright, so I have a uh, shell constructor already set up here. I'm going to take this other treadmill and place it like so. And just another one here to make it go faster. The more treadmills you have, the faster it goes. Actually, I think this one is actually in the way. So, yeah. Alright, now we're going to take our... Is this a... No, that's a constructor. Then we're going to place our storage over here. Put a redstone torch or redstone signal in general next to it. And uh, this will act as uh, storage for all your shells. And to make it the one that stores your original body, which you are going to need before you can uh, switch over to your other shells, you need to right-click it with a bed. I don't believe the bed is consumed on right-click, but uh, yeah. Now you're going to want to herd your pig or whatever animal pig. Um, or, uh, wolf, I think it's pig and wolf, over onto these little treadmills, and they'll start running, thus powering your machine. And before I move on, I'm going to switch to, uh, survival mode, uh, which, uh, these will automatically register whether, like, which mode you are in when you activate them. And you just want to right-click them. It'll uh, do a little bit of damage. It didn't seem to that time. 
But then it will start building uh, your shell. I will learn it like piece by piece. I'll get back to you when it's further along. Okay, so our first shell is just putting on the finishing touches. Uh, first off, I just want to say, Aijun, you are an awesome animator. Just check out some of the things this does. Like, mm, about three, two, one. 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 <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, no, Aitron is a great animator, I mean, just look at those models, and those things go up, and there we go, they start spray painting your skin on. Alright, there we go. Um, I do believe these automatically, like, the skin will automatically update when, or as your Minecraft character does. So, um, it won't spray the hat on right away. Uh, that will come afterwards, but, uh, yeah, now, you're just going to want to walk into the, uh, uh, shell storage with the blue light, because that means that is your home one, and you are going to select the, uh, select the shell you want to move to. I mean, just watch this awesome animation. There we go, up into space and down and there we go now it did uh, clip through a little bit but oh well um, I do just love the way it uh, comes down and you just see yourself sitting there for a split second and then bam goes into your perspective kinda like the old uh, James Bond games like uh, Goldeneye where at the beginning of every level it would kinda zoom through the level and just or it would show you standing there and then switch to your perspective like that. Um, so now you have yourself sitting in this control pod. I'm being very careful not to click by accident because destroying the uh, storage that your original your original player is in will instantly uh, crash the game, like crash to your desktop. Alright, so now we have this, uh, second body. Now, I bet you're wondering what the point of this is. Well, let me show you. Say you're just walking along, and you don't see a cliff, and all of a sudden, bam, you fall off. Fall all the way down to your death, a hundred blocks down, and just instant death. And you're playing in hard hardcore mode, and that sucks because uh, you don't want this world to be deleted. Well, then all of a sudden you get you go up in the space and back to your original body or to another shell. You can have as many shells as you want, etc., etc. Um, and so yeah, that's really what this is for: is to prolong your life. It also can be used for cool things like, uh, well, the inventory of the shell is saved at when it enters the, uh, enters the, uh, storage and switches to a different one. So you can set up, like, armor presets and just switch to them at any time. Like when, like, at checkpoints. And speaking of checkpoints, you can use it for a kind of teleporting system. But, uh, here, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm just going to do slash kill so you can see this awesome death animation. Bam! You, um, your shell instantly disintegrates, goes back into your perspective. It looks a lot better in, uh, in, like, I'm trying to think what it's called in first person mode. But, uh, yeah, here. I have some, I have another shell in storage over by the, uh, what's it called? Over by the, uh, Blood Magic Level 3 Altar. If you remember from that mod showcase. So I'm just gonna switch over to him. Walk out. The, well, normally the doors would close, but uh, this is the shell storage, not the other one. 
And uh, now I'm all the way over here by the uh, by this. Um, if you lose red uh, redstone signal to your oh, I still have these in here. And I'm in creative mode because it saves which uh, mode you're in. <laughs> I remember this. That was like my longest mod review ever, besides the Twilight Forest mods, which wasn't even in the Silver Moon Inn, so it doesn't really count. It's not part of the official series. But, uh, nostalgia aside, um, yeah, you can use this for sort of teleporting, make waypoints or checkpoints or whatever you want to call them. And let me, um, if you cut off redstone signal or destroy the storage, the shell inside will instantly disintegrate. Speaking of which, let me just show you that animation again. Boom. Just into pixels. Go back to your original body, and there you go. I mean, the GUI for this is actually really cool. All the different shells will show up in this ring. And now I'm actually out of shells, so I'll just so I don't want to be created in the meantime, just in case I need that later. And I'll go back in the creative. And head on over here. Um, I'm just going to clean up after my show's death because it left this marker here. I'm actually going to leave that there. I can use that as a waypoint for later. I'll probably set more up at different or at various locations. Um, as far as aesthetics go, I can't really use this to improve the Silver Moon Inn. I guess the improvement for this episode was like the wreaths and the dang vines which keep growing and the uh, lights and all that. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you do, please comment, subscribe, like, or just tell your friends, you know, um, I haven't been getting the most, uh, views lately, and I'd like to kind of boost my channel a little more. Oh. Oh, that's right, uh, I think zombies are supposed to spawn out of those when you destroy them sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Myricarn. And I will see you guys next.